welcome to a new chapter of Turing Dev Talks. This is Alina, your host for the day, and I'm tuning in from India. Today on the panel, we have with us Shigozi, who's joining us from Lagos, Nigeria. Hi, Shigozi. How are you and how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. Thanks for asking. Thank you so much for telling me that. And before we dive into today's discussion for the day, I'd like to tell all of you that Shigozi here likes solving problems and coming up with software solutions. He has worked with both front-end and back-end technologies with tech stacks like HTML, CSS, Vue.js, Laravel, PHP, among others. And today he's going to help us understand Vue.js better and also answer one of the most important questions. That is, should developers switch to Vue.js from React.js? So uh, first of all, hi, Chigozi. Thanks a lot for joining us today. And I'm really glad to have you here with us, with me. So um, how are you and how is your work at Turing? I'm doing great things. Um, I've been working for Turing for over six months now, and uh, the experience has been great so far. Um, I really love the flexibility of the work hours. Uh, it allows me to work whenever I want to, outside of the standard nine to five from working hours. And it also saves me some productive hours daily. And this is time I would have otherwise spent transiting to, a, to and from work uh, since I live in a city that is plagued with traffic. So yeah, it's been great so far. Awesome, that sounds really good. And it looks like you're having a great time with Turing. Super glad to hear that. Yeah, sure, yeah. It's been splendid so far. Yeah. Now, moving towards the discussion, Chigozi, I know that people have different opinions when it comes to you know debates like React versus Vue versus Angular, right? So I want to know your point of view. What do you prefer when, when there's an option between React and Vue? Um, my go-to option would be to use Vue, and uh, this is mainly because I have a way more experience working with Vue than I have with React. So yeah, I'll go with Vue over React. Okay, that's interesting. Could you like help us understand more about that? Why do you prefer Vue, and why does it help you know solve your problems? Yeah, so apart from the fact that I have more experience working with Vue, I, I really like the way Vue structured uh, their components. So for instance, with Vue, you have the, the components file, which is the, the .view file, properly separates the HTML part from the script part by script, and whether it's JavaScript or TypeScript you want to use. Um, so I really like that separation of concerns, unlike with React. So React uses um, JSX, which basically combined um, HTML script with JavaScript. I never really found that uh, appealing, even though we like to see it's optional, but that's like the default approach that's being pushed, but I never really like found it um, uh, interesting in my opinion. So yeah, I, I like the structure that we offer over um, what React does. Okay, that sounds interesting. And it definitely brings uh, me to my next question, which is, do you think it is easier to work with Vue.js as compared to React? It's, yes, I, I would say it is easier um, because Vue.js is easier to learn, especially for beginners. Uh, their concepts are, are easier to, to grasp. Um, unlike React, React is, it's a bit more complex right now. Maybe when it was, when it came out, um, maybe it was easier, but now I think it's the whole of the concept that you need to uh, grasp. Like you have concept of React groups, you have React context. Those things, for a beginner, I think they're, they're going to find it, find it overwhelming. But unlike um, Vue.js, Vue.js is, is still simple and easy to learn. You can, a beginner can get by, uh, achieving a lot with just knowing some of the simple, simple things. So yeah, I think it's easier to work with Vue than it is with React. Right, right. And I think I agree on that a little bit. But when you talk of differences, I see that React and Vue have more similarities than differences, right? So according to you, how similar are React JS and Vue.js? Yeah, very similar. They are very similar. Um, firstly, they are both JavaScript libraries used for creating bank interfaces for single page applications. They are both fast and lightweight and uh, they both make use of comp component-based architecture. They also make use of a virtual DOM. 
Um, in addition, both have common concepts. For example, uh, although being offered by different libraries, they provide similar features such as routing and state management. So yeah, they are quite similar. Interesting. It looks like they aren't that different from each other. No, they are not. Right. And we've also heard that Vue.js has numerous built-in functions and that they do not need any third-party help. Right. So when we speak of performance, uh, which out of the two do you think is better? Do you think uh, Vue.js is faster because of this? And how does React.js compare with Vue.js in this particular function? Okay, um, that's a that's a really good question. Um, I would say performance is mainly about speed, and both UJS and React are fast because they both make use of a virtual DOM, which basically maintains a copy of the real browser DOM in memory. It's much faster to manipulate the virtual DOM than it is to manipulate the real DOM, and by comparing the virtual and real DOMs, both React and Vue are able to figure out which of the virtual DOM objects changed and update the real DOM accordingly. This offers a performance boost uh, for both libraries. However, the way the UI changes are propagated internally by both frameworks gives Vue.js a little advantage over React. In Vue.js, components are automatically tracked using some internal, internally generated IDs. So Vue.js can update only the components in a subfield that actually need to be updated. Whereas in React, by default, once the state of a component changes, the rendering of all the components in the component subtree is triggered, which makes React slightly slower than Vue.js. So, right. So, can you also give us some use cases on these lines um, of both Vue.js and React.js? I think it would help our audience better understand uh, when they should pick either of Vue or React.js. Um, so React is currently being used by uh, Facebook uh, because, they, of course, they built it. Um, so they are, they are using it in some of their products like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. Um, there are also well, other well-known companies that make use of React at the moment, such as Tesla, um, Airbnb, Netflix, uh, PayPal. Um, but with VGS, it's, VGS does not quite have um, that much adoption, uh, as much ad adoption among the big companies as React has. But nevertheless, a couple of well-known sites are using them, and these sites include Trustpilot, GitLab, BMW, Nintendo, and a couple of others as well. So I think we see uh, big names using both React.js and Vue.js, and I think this goes to say that both of these web frameworks and libraries hold different values in different categories, right? But one question that emerges here is, uh, and I think it would make the point a little more clear, and that is that when should the developer use React.js and when should they use Vue.js? Is there some difference there? Okay, uh, so um, in deciding between which of React or Vue.js to use what and I think a couple of points or factors should be uh, considered. And the one of the first one, in my opinion, is the level of experience that your development team currently has. If if the team members are already experienced working with React, and I think they are good for it, they should uh, use React for um, the development. Um, also, uh, if you want to build uh, complex applications, complex single page applications that can be extended in the future without uh, uh, difficulties. And I think React is a, is a good um, library to use. Um, thirdly, if you want to build cross-platform mobile applications, then I think you should use React because React has um, React Native, which helps build, uh, which helps building um, cross cross-platform mobile application, whereas it does write a single, the same code that works for both iOS or Android. Yeah, so, but um, for Vue, because of the speed or ease of learning Vue.js, I think if your development team is made up of engineers that are not that experienced in either of 
VGS or React and you want to be able to build a product, then I think um, VGS is a recommended library to go with because it's quite easy to learn. Uh, also, because VGS is, has a little performance advantage over React, um, I think if you want to build um, fast applications, then UGS is a library to go with. And then if you, because if you want to be able to work with um, right code that has proper separation of consent between the different parts of the a component, then I think you'll find um, the way the dot view files in UGS uh, is structured uh, quite appealing. Um, yeah, so I think some of these uh, factors that we should be born in mind while deciding job. Right? And we just um, want you to go. Right, right. That's interesting. And it definitely looks like the answer is not as simple as it seems, right? And it mostly depends on the features of both React.js and Vue.js. Yeah, yeah, it is. Right. Also, recent findings from a Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2021 said that React and Vue rank first and second in the list of most popular web frameworks amongst developers, which is again an interesting find. I agree. <laughs> right. And I think this brings me to the last and I think the most important question for today's discussion, which is uh, should a developer switch to Vue.js from React.js? What do you think? Um, I think that the choice of whether to switch from React to Vue should be based on things such as how comfortable the developer is working with both of them and whether they feel like there will be an advantage gained by performance of a switch. Also, if working in a team, then I think that the team's experience with the library of framework should play a part. If the team is already comfortable with React, then I don't see any reason why switching from React to VGS should be done. Right, any, any tips or resources that you would like to uh, give to our audience here as a last step, if they want to switch to Vue.js, how should they move forward? I'll say really documentation. The documentation was quite straightforward. Uh, I think, uh, um, yeah, really documentation, um, look at um, forums if you have any questions. I, I think the community is also um, quite, maybe not, maybe not as, not slightly as uh, big as that of React, but I think there's they also a lot of support. So if you, are, if you run into any issues, there will always be uh, people that uh, can provide answers. Right, of course. And thanks a lot for that. It was really helpful. And I think that a lot of our developers are going to take your advice. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for joining us today. I enjoyed this discussion a lot and I enjoyed a lot talking to you. I hope our audience found this useful too. To everybody out there, please feel free to drop us an email at support at the rate .com if you have any more questions. Let us know in the comments below what you would like to learn in the next video. Give us a big fat thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to Turing.com. We will be back with many more such interesting and informative videos. Till then, stay safe, stay home and click on the link in the description below to apply to Turing. Thank you and happy working.